Sculptor has some simple video editing abilities, so let's take a look at those. I'm in Canvas, and in order to get to my recorded Kaltura content, I click on Account, and then My Kaltura Media. And these are all the videos that I've recorded recently. I have one called Sample Video for Editing, and I can look at the analytics for that. I can edit, which I want to do. So I'm going to click on the pencil here to get into the first level of editing, which just lets me change the title, add a description, play the video. I want to edit the video itself, so I'm going to launch the editor with this button. This is our video editor window, and notice this is also where you could create a quiz or add hotspots. By default, it comes up to the video editor. We have a play window. We have a timeline that you see moving along the bottom. You notice I have a lot of dead air here, so I'm going to want to trim off the beginning to about this point. A couple of ways to do that. When I click into the video, you'll notice there are handles here on the end. I could drag these to set the end point, but I really like to use these buttons here. So shortcut to set in. So scroll your video, play your video to the appropriate point, and then click set in. And now we've trimmed that. If we wanted to set the out point, this time I'll use the, the slider and just drag this over. Now what if we want to cut out a section in the middle? Let me click into the middle and you'll see there's, a, there's an entire section where I'm not even present, so we want to trim that. That's possible using the scissors or split tool. Click on that and it divides this into two different clips. And we can then play where we want it. Let's find a point where I'm getting up. I just set that as the out point. And then on this side, we'll play it until I come back. Excuse me. I'm back. Okay. And we'll set that as the end point. Now, it's important that we leave these blank spaces at the beginning and the end and in between. Don't try to drag these around, even though it gives you the, the ability with this four-headed arrow to move these clips. We want to leave the space there and just go up and save a copy. We'll uh, give it a name and click Create. That's going to create a new video instead of saving over the, the original one. And keep the original one and save a copy. Okay, that's going to take a few moments to process before we can view that. Um, one question you might have is, can I combine two different videos that I've recorded at two different emphases? And the answer to that is, in Kaltura, you cannot. Uh, you would have to use a um, more robust video editing tool to, to do that. Can't do it in Kaltura. The last question is, how do I get off of this screen? There's no X to X out this window. Instead, it's in the opposite corner. There is an exit button here. So are you sure you want to exit? And that will do it. We'll be back to our media.